What's going on people? Today I will be doing something a little interesting for you guys and that is that I will be reviewing the US release of Suspiria in 4K Ultra HD. Now if you guys have followed the channel for some time at the beginning of this year actually I reviewed the uh, Italian 4K import of Suspiria. That uh, was a little different but I, uh, I actually wanted to review this release for you guys just because I wanted to just go over the differences and really show you guys that this release is the one to get. I am not going to be going into the movie review itself just because I already did that on that import review. I will put a link right up here for you guys and instead I'm going to be rolling straight up into the video quality here and the video quality is excellent. This is a brand new 4K scan of the original 35mm negative of this film and this blew me away. Right from the beginning scene you notice an insane difference in clarity and edge definement. And that really just continues throughout the film. And only in a few shots does this get really damn soft. But um, other than that, that edge defilement really continues throughout this film and uh, I was just blown away by that. Detail here is also expertly done. You can see all the strands of all the women's hair in this film and then you can see a lot of the pores on their faces a lot more here in close-ups uh, and along with that there is just a bumped up nature to the uh, this the environments and that is also expertly done now here is where uh, this is going to differ from the Italian import that I reviewed for you guys and that is because that import did not have HDR some 4k imports from smaller studios don't actually incorporate HDR into their 4k discs and that is unfortunate but here we are given HDR and this movie, I, I love the cinematography here. It is just one of the best, if not the best looking um, horror movie of all time. And that is because of the fact that you just have these harsh reds, beautiful lush blues and just just really intriguing greens that come in at times and it is just so captivating and with the hdr it just blew me away how much just uh, it really accentuated that whole entire vibe of this and i loved it that is what's most noticeable but of course you will have some color correction that is due to the HDR that happens in some particular scenes, and that is great. Uh, along with that, you do get some uh, more natural skin tones to these characters, so this is one that you want to pick up for the HDR here because it is just amazing. Now, there are some softer scenes here. I will say that the scene where uh, the dog attacks his owner, the piano player, and that scene is noticeably softer from the rest of this film. I think it's because of just the low lighting that was uh, that 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 was filmed at because that was filmed at night, and um, you know that you can definitely tell a difference. There is heavy grain in that scene also, and there is such little grain in the rest of this film that it's it really stands out. But that is only because of the fact that uh, the rest of this film looks so damn good. And for that, I am going to give this a 9 out of 10. Before I saw that scene, I actually was going to give this a 10 out of 10 because... This just completely blew me away. Another thing that completely blew me away here is the audio quality. And this is something that is actually stepped up here from uh, the 
Italian import that I reviewed for you guys at the beginning of the year. Just because of the fact that here you are also given Dolby Atmos. And this is something that is just really interesting to see. I would not expect them to actually step it up and give us this, but they did. I love it. Thank you. And um, you know what? It sounds amazing. It is incredible. The score here by Goblin is hypnotic and entrancing and just everything that it needs to be. At times, it actually overpowers what you're, you're watching on screen. But I just absolutely love it. And to hear it in Dolby Atmos, coming through your height speakers and being so strong and prominent here, I absolutely loved it. And then you have the speaker separation here, which blew me away. It does sound a little artificial. You can definitely tell that uh, somebody went in and really paid attention and tweaked some things. At times, it is kind of distracting, but it is just insane how much speaker separation you get from here. Uh, surrounds are heavily, heavily, heavily used. Height speakers, you know what? They are actually really damn good here. Every time the score kicks in, comes through your height speakers. At the beginning of the movie, when that woman falls from the uh, overhead glass, you can hear it in your height speakers also. There are a bunch of different elements that uh, come through the height speakers at the last scene of the film when things really ramp up. This is unbelievable. And bass response is just absolutely great. Everything that you want it to be. It is very dynamic. I'm actually going to give this a 10 out of 10. This sounds incredible. Now there is no digital copy here. But the special features actually just make up for a tenfold because you get a ton of new features that can only be uh, seen and heard on this disc. And uh, what I will say is also, you do not get the Blu-ray version on this release. Instead, you get a separate Blu-ray that has just the special features on it. On the 4K disc, there are two audio commentaries that have people that are very versed in Argento's work and they go over just everything you want to know about this film on these audio commentaries and they have a lot of like trivia kind of stuff that they go over. It is very fun. And then on top of that, you just get so many uh, featurettes that are on the uh, special feature disc that is insane. And like I said, these are new, so you have a 30 minute uh, featurette that goes into the uh, cinematography here. And then you have one that goes over the writing process and you just have so much here. There are like seven or eight, possibly nine featurettes that are on here. All of them are decent length. All of them have so much detail to them that it's it's really damn good. And um, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 also. It is exactly what you would want to be. And getting into my last looks at Suspiria, this is uh, something that I have been looking forward to all month. This uh, this movie, I, I just love it. I love coming back to it. It is such a hypnotic, very beautiful movie that I just really love looking at. It is very, very pretty. And uh, has always translated well to Blu-ray and now to 4K. This movie has a tone and a vibe to it that really counteracts kind of uh, the, the the bad acting that goes into this movie because some of it is kind of bad but i do really love it i definitely 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 will be coming back to suspiria a lot more now that i have this release
And when you add up all my scores for Suspiria in 4K Ultra HD for the US version, it comes out to a 38 out of 40. This is the definitive edition for Suspiria. Any fans of this movie should have picked this up already. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? This is amazing. So, coming up next on the channel, I haven't actually received it in the mail yet, but I will be reviewing Angel Has Fallen and Robocop because I am actually getting the Arrow version to review for you guys. That is really exciting. I can't wait to talk to you guys about Robocop. It is a favorite of mine. So, if you are looking forward to that, make sure you subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. I don't need to say it because you know it. And I will see all of you next time.